How you guys doing today? Today, I want to talk about something very important. I want to talk about five factors that impact your credit score. Once I got the, when I finally understood these five factors, it is what took me from poor credit to excellent credit. And the more knowledge that I understood with regards to this stuff, the better it was. So I want to share this guy, this information with you guys. So stay tuned. My name is Jay and welcome to Ask a Debt Collector. Now I've been in the debt collection industry for over 15 years. I've done it all from skip tracing to collecting to management and I've owned two debt collection agencies. For the past eight years, I've been the go-to guy for friends and family for questions regarding debt and credit and now I wanna be that person for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. Let's go. If you haven't had time and you're new to this YouTube channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Share the video with friends and family. These five factors that impact your credit score is very vital for every single person who deals with credit and want to understand credit, okay? Um, thank you guys for all you guys who have subscribed to this YouTube channel. It is growing and growing and growing. So thank you for that. When I finally got a grasp of these five factors that impacted my credit score, and I understood each one of these factors, then everything made so much sense. Now, I don't necessarily agree with all of the factors, but in this credit game, in order to be very, to win, just like any other game that you may play, what is one of the first things that you have to do? You have to read the rules, right? And once you understand the rules, the sky is the limit, right? Um, you can have credit cards, revolving credit cards. You can always get approved for cars. You can get approved for business credit. That's a whole nother subject that I will uh, start to talk about as time progresses on this channel. But nevertheless, when you understand these five factors, it will make a difference in your life, okay? The number one thing that you need to understand, and the first thing that I'll talk about is your history. Your history on your credit report is basically like your report card. What have you had on your credit report? What have you done with your credit report? What type of trade lines do you have on there? Do you have revolving accounts? Do you have installment accounts? But what is the history overall with regards to your credit profile? Very, very key. Um, with regards to that. Understanding your history on every single trade line that you have, obviously not having late payments, obviously not closing out accounts, which can um, hurt your history, a lot of that type of stuff, but understanding the history is key. The second thing that I wanna talk about is the length, right? Very, very key. The length that you've had certain trades lines on your credit report. Right, As we all know, installment loans, unless it's a mortgage, typically is about three to seven years, right? Revolving credit, which are typically credit cards, can be forever. But the length of history that you have with regards to your accounts matter. They wanna see a length of time of you making payments on time and not missing any payments. So the length of time is so key with regards to your accounts. And for those of you who have thin credit profiles, a way that you can get longer length of credit profile is obviously an authorized user, but you must find an authorized user who's had an, a revolving credit card for a very long time, who um, paid that account every single month because whatever's reflected on their credit report can be reflected on your credit report. And then obviously you want a low utilization, which is one of the factors that we will talk about. So I'll get into that a little bit later. Now, if you need help with a authorized user credit card, and you don't know anyone with regards to that, email me at jmcneil at bearrecovery.com. I can help you out with that. Third important factor on your credit profile that affects your, that affects your credit score is usage. So, so key. A lot of people out there say keep at least a 30% utilization on all of your credit cards across the board. In other words, if you have a $1,000 credit card limit and that's the only one you have, you don't want to go over 30%. Now, 
one of the things that I learned personally and with the clients that I have is to try and keep it down to 10%. So in other words, if you have a thousand dollar limit on a credit card, you keep the utilization at a hundred dollars or lower. And then for my people who really, really, really want to have the best FICO score that you can possibly have, obviously you use the credit card, but on your billing due date, you want to pay your balance to a zero utilization. Now, in all honesty, with my credit, and this is how I've seen it affect me, is whenever my utilization has gone to two or three percent, my FICO score has dropped. And I'm talking only two or three percent. When I get it back to zero, my FICO score goes up. But your actual usage of your credit holds a very, very, very important part in creditors when they're looking at your credit profile and they're either looking at possibly extending you more credit, your utilization has to be down on your credit cards. Don't have them all maxed out. The fourth thing that I want to talk about is diversity, right? It's almost the same thing as your credit mix, if you've ever heard of that. They want to see that you have different type of accounts on your credit profile. They want to see that you ha can handle different type of accounts, right? It's one thing to just have credit cards. It's another thing to have installment loans as well. And when you have installment loans and you have different type of installment loans, a mortgage, a personal loan, a car loan, the credit mix across the board is great. Credit creditors like to look at your credit profile and see a mix of credit and see that you're responsible with that mix of credit and a lot of times that'll help you with regards to getting approved for those higher um, limits and uh, loan amounts the last thing that I want to talk about that of the five factors and this is the fifth factor that impacts your credit score is your inquiries right you want to keep it to about two inquiries over a two-year period. Now, I'm not saying that you only apply for two things every two years, but on your credit profile, you only want to have two inquiries. A lot of times, you um, you know, when you're starting out with credit, you're going to apply for stuff and you're going to get denied for it. There's a way to have those inquiries removed down below. I have the inquiry removal kit. Check that out if you need some help with that. You want to make sure you're down to two inquiries before applying for more credit because creditors look at you as risky if in fact they look at your credit profile, it shows you have 15 inquiries on your credit profile and these inquiries, there's no trade lines for those inquiries. So then it seems like you're just going around fishing around trying to get credit. But as you start growing, with your credit profile, and as you start understanding credit, then two new credit cards a year is probably where I'm at right now and where I have a couple of clients that I have now with building your credit. Now, understand, down below, there's a 30-minute free consultation. We have the new year coming in soon. How good would that be to actually go into the new year debt-free, right? Not having any debt, no collection accounts, and your inquiries down to about two inquiries over that two-year time span. Not only do we fix your credit, but I can coach you with regards to what to do on getting approved for those higher limits, right? It's one thing just to clear up your credit, to clear up your credit profile, and then to send you on your way. It's another thing to give you the education, right, on these five factors that impact your credit score and how to get approved to go from getting approved from the three to thousand dollar credit card limits to getting approved ten thousand plus, right? To go in and, and get in a car and getting approved at ten to twenty eight percent interest rate, and there are uh, loans out there. Some of you guys have those. To getting approved from the four percent down to zero percent um, interest APR on your actual car loan, as well as getting the best interest rate on your home loans. Down below is a free 30-minute consultation. There is no obligation, but you have to definitely take the step to invest on your life. It's well worth it. I have a bunch of clients that are so happy that they met me and that I was able to improve these five factors to impact their credit score. Now, if you have any questions about debt or credit, put them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. And as always, you be great.